Welcome to iWire's Subaru wiring harness installation video. In this video, we cover how to install the interior trim pieces back into your Subaru. First, slide the center console into place. Use the screws that have the washer piece on them. They're a little longer than the average screws in the rest of the car. First, screw in the center and then screw in the two screws at the front as well as the two screws near the armrest. Put the shifter trim on. The boot should already be attached, but this car is a little older. Next, place the plastic piece on top. Now you'll plug in the power of side view mirror switch. Click this piece into place. There will be two screws for you to screw in. These also have a little washer on top. The screws pictured in this video are not the proper screws. Next, twist on the top of the shifter knob. Line up the ECU plate. You'll use the 10 millimeter bolts and screw it into place. There are three bolts on the bottom and one nut at the top. Now you'll connect the door lock timer. Screw the piece into place. This is the keyless entry plug. If you have it, plug it in. If you do not, it will stay open. Next, mount the knee crash plate. Screw in the two bolts to hold it in place. Next you'll mount the lower trim piece. First, plug in the OBD2 port. Then plug in the brown cruise control plug as well as the gray fog light plug. There's a lock tab in the center on each side of the steering column that will hold everything in. Insert the plastic clips on the side and screw in the two bottom bolts. One will be by the hood latch and the other bolt is by the center console. At this point, all of the plugs should be plugged in here except for the test mode switch plugs and the initialization plugs. Now you'll install the driver side trim piece. The trick to these is to line up the tab on the inside and push the secondary part of the tab from the outside so they sit flush. Then, put your plastic tabs into place. There are two clips, one on each side of the trim piece. Install these last. Now install the glove box. You want to get it locked into place first. There is a clip on the upper piece as well as two clips on the left side that go into the center console.
insert the plastic clip on the side. Once you get it lined up, you'll want to bolt in the center screw first. The trick here is to put in all of the screws first and make sure they go in and then go back and tighten them all. The alignment here can be a little difficult, so take your time. There is also a screw at the bottom you want to make sure you remember. Now you'll do the passenger side trim piece. It's the same as the driver's side. Line up the tab on the inside and push the secondary part of the tab from the outside so they sit flush. Insert your plastic tabs and don't forget to do the two clips on either side. The last piece to install is your VIN plate. You'll just line it up and click it into place. And that's it. You have now installed your wiring harness and your Subaru is put back together. If you need help with your wiring harness, replacement plugs, or any Subaru wiring needs at all, call iWire.